This is the 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT Trackhawk. Like the Charger Hellcat widebody I drove earlier, this Jeep shares the same 707 horsepower supercharged V8. Only here, it's attached to an all-wheel drive system. Of course, being a Grand Cherokee, it's also immensely practical, with plenty of room to seat five adults in total comfort. The Trackhawk Edition starts at $86,000, with all the go-fast bits as standard equipment. That includes upsized brakes, competition suspension, and an 8-speed automatic. Today we're at the Western Automotive Journalist Track Day at Laguna Seca, where we get in a few hot laps with this Trackhawk. Joining me is Earl Desiderio, product specialist for Dodge SRT. Well, this is a Jeep Cherokee Trackhawk. Trackhawk. Basically, it's a 707 horsepower Hellcat engine. Yes, sir. The transmission, where does that come from? Transmission comes pretty much direct out of the Hellcat. Okay, so, so earlier I drove the Hellcat wide body. This is basically the same thing, but can seat a lot more people. And gear. And gear and your groceries. Of course, groceries. Because <laughs> everybody's going to buy this for the grocery run. <laughs> of course. This is ridiculous. Okay, since I drove that one earlier, mm -hmm. now I'm driving this one. Do you have any special notes we want to say or any last things you want to say? No. I mean, I don't mean last things. Not last know? things. <laughs> uh, no, absolutely not. What I, what I, my suggestion, since we're going on the track, Yep. let's go ahead and set up the Custom um, drive mode. Let's do this though. Um, let's run you in street mode on the suspension. Why? It just, on this track, it's just a little more compliant. Okay. Gives you a little more body roll than the track setting. Okay. Um, feel free to run it in track mode, but I'm. Let's the do the few... first lap in street and then we'll switch it out to track on the straightaway when we go in for that last lap. Excellent. Seem fair? Fair enough. Great. Now, how about the brakes on this? This is a lot of weight. Big brakes. Uh, are my brakes going to be smoking? No. No, big brakes. Okay. Um, you'll, you'll be highly impressed. So that one I was noticing in the Hellcat widebody, as soon as I would like add even 10% of throttle into the corner, it would kind of do this. Yeah. Your, your weight bias is a little different. Yeah. Uh, being in an SUV, you know, you've got a little more weight over the rear of the car plant in the rear end. Okay. So I don't think you'll notice that quite as much in this one. Okay. So we've got an STI Type RA coming down. So we got all sorts of interesting cars to play with here. The RA, of course, has way less horsepower than this, but the RA is built for the track, basically. So right now we're just going to see if we can keep up with this Hellcat wide body. And so far, yeah, I don't think we're going to have a problem here. Maybe we'll get a pass by though. Oh, that shift is brutal. It's brutal. It's positive. Oh, positive. I'm sorry. That's the word. Positive. It's so funny when you're on a racetrack and you're on a straightaway and you're only doing like 10% throttle. Now granted, I have a car in front of me, so I'm obviously not gonna try to overtake him. But that said, I still have to be, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's actually way more drivable actually. Oh, got a lift for, by, for the sound. This feels more drivable than the wide body Hellcat, which is really weird to say. It's a phenomenal vehicle. I find those shifts unsettling, but it's probably just because I'm not used to them. I think what you'll find though is it is always in the right gear. It's always yeah. pulling and always in the right gear. Yeah. Well, yeah, so much torque. I mean, really, it's. Uh. <laughs> Okay, now here's an interesting one. Let's go through this. Turn number one, late apex, and try not to cross it up. So how's that brake feel coming in? The brakes feel great. I mean, I'm like, I'm not even thinking about the brakes. They're just doing what I'm asking. Oh, yeah! Yes! I lifted early. I chickened out. Now, are you a double apex man or a single apex? I, I prefer a single. Oh, yeah, okay. So white on one, tight on two? Yep. Late, late, late on two. 
Tap that just a little bit. I'm still a little nervous. I mean, we got wet corners here, but we got all wheel drive to pull us out as long as we don't completely lose it. That was not a good corner. We're gonna put it out there in the pond. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's not get everything wet. Oh, I'm driving this so much slower than I normally would. I'm a little frightened, honestly. Let's haul this thing. How much does this thing weigh? Oh, uh, we're at, we're about 5,500 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, lift, lift for sound. Hi, sound booth. I have to apologize. That is one note on the new one I do not know the exact weight of. So, so far in street setting, I'm preferring this car over the Hellcat widebody at this track. I, I, it, it blows my mind. That shouldn't even be possible. So let's go ahead and we'll switch it out to track. Um, why don't we go ahead and do that now? Okay, so now we have the suspension in track mode. And that tightens up everything, right? Yes, sir. See a little less body roll, a little... Oh, yeah. This is significant. Is it uh, magnetic suspension? Yes, sir. Okay. Bil the Bilstein magnetic suspension. and wasting this car early. I mean, the brakes do it. I mean, even the brakes have to breathe a little bit, right? Right. Oh, come on. Oh, that was not good. Oh, well. Yeah, not too bad. This is the scary one right here now because the water still. Oh, this is my favorite corner. <laughs> she, likes, she likes to squirt out a little bit. My favorite track, day, favorite track day ever was pouring rain, Portland International Raceway in Chump Car oh. in a Miata. That was so much fun. I like it. It was a 3 a.m. shift. <laughs> we were doing a 24 hour enduro. So, everybody, everybody loved vampire duty. Yep. It's my favorite time to be in the car. Yeah. The Speedo could be bigger. I know I can probably change this though. Yep. Not at speed though. <laughs> That's something I should have done in the pits. <laughs> okay, we'll go ahead and let the brakes cool down a little bit. We'll just take this easy. Uh, so any comments on my line or driving? No, man, you did a great job. Great, thank you. Good. I'm uh, really impressed with this. I mean, honestly, I thought it was going to be more of a handful. It just seems like it'll be more of a handful than the lower, wider Hellcat widebody. I mean, it just... It's a pretty balanced vehicle. <laughs> it is. You legitimately can go get groceries in this car. I could give a black key to my wife and she'd be like, oh, okay, fine. Eh, it's fine. It doesn't drive like it's this super stiff monster of a car. Oh, I love it, man. Congratulations. This is brilliant. For Driving Sports TV, this is Ryan Dowthit driving the new Trackhawk Jeep Cherokee, which is really weird to say. Trackhawk Jeep Cherokee, but that's what it is. <laughs>